Ahoy there. Hello. Saluting the flagship. Absolutely. Salute the ensign. I don't think we're going under that bridge. Hello, welcome back. Look at this beautiful place. So uh, it's been a long time coming, but me and Simon have got back out into Scandinavia. We uh, yesterday flew into Norway and uh, we travelled to Sweden and uh, we're going to be paddling through lots of little lakes, a couple of big ones like Regen and uh, yeah, back into Norway, so about three days three or four days in Sweden and three or four days in Norway as well. The beginning of our trip. We've already done one portage. <laughs> yeah, and just about to uh, meet Simon here for another one. Hello. <laughs> Portage <laughs> two down. Yeah, half hour in two bodies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've walked further than we've paddled, I think. <laughs> and now a slightly bigger lake. That's our second portage done. Simon snacking. <laughs> Secretly in the background. 
and yeah slightly bigger lake this making our way over uh, another portage I think if it looks okay is going to allow us to cut out three others um, so one instead of three as long as the terrain is okay um, but yeah this is a beautiful lake isn't it Gorgeous. oh look there's a tent up there did not spot that. So yeah, that's the first person we've seen out here. I think we're just after kind of the, uh, well, busy. I don't think it's that busy up here, period. I think we're something like 700 miles north of Gothenburg where we flew into last time for our last trip. We're quite a ways north, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, and higher. And higher, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the elevation is pretty high up. Almost at the, almost at the limit of vegetation or tree growth, aren't we? Well, yeah, that hill over there, the trees just disappear, don't they? Yeah, the tree line. And they're a bit sparser, but beautiful. We're just checking out the shoreline here, picking out where to portage across to try and save on three others. They're not big, it's just getting everything out of the canoes and putting it back in, getting out, getting in. But it's looking quite rocky. How's it look? There's a path, there oh. is a route. It's a, probably three or four hundred meters up, down to a boggy bit, a little bit up, and then down. It's better than three, probably. It's rocky, it's like this, it's bouldery, um, but it's definitely doable. Well, let's try it then. Yeah. That's our last portage of the day, thankfully. It was a long, rocky one, but uh, I think it beats doing three short, rocky ones with all this kit. But uh, yeah, it's good to have that behind us. Now, we're just doing a bit of a loop round on this kind of U-shaped lake, and um, there's a camp spot. There's currently a um, partial fire ban here, so uh, we can have a fire at the, um, the shelters, similar to what we stayed in um, down south in Sweden, the wind shelters, and they've got fireplaces. We can have small fires away from trees and stuff, but uh, yeah, it'd be nice to have a little base camp. So we're gonna get there, check the site out, have some lunch, maybe have a little paddle, and uh, laugh at Simon trying to catch some fish. 
He pretended he didn't hear, but he heard. We have wind as we come around that corner there. Quite shallow, all these reeds and the odd rock underneath the paddle. But yeah, around this corner, along a bit, and we are at potential camp. A beautiful first day here, or well, second day technically, but first day with you guys. This is our shelter up here by the looks of it. Quite up high. But there's a little, little uh, place there to stop, maybe. I'm spinning. <laughs> Always take the best parking spot. Nice. That's quite a nice little shelter, just like being at home. And it looks like there's trees enough around for us to both use our hammocks. But yeah, beautiful view here. Nice fire pit, some wood in there as well, and a wok and a saw. One of the little axe on there as well. Can even have a poo with a view. It's not very nice in there. Moose poo spotted. Maybe I'll get to see one this time. I'm pretty sure that's likely to be a moose print too. Well, our plans haven't quite worked out. <laughs> a couple of people just arrived shortly after we did and they're planning on staying here for the night. And us doing our filming, it doesn't really work being around other people. So we're gonna have to press on Maybe to the next shelter, but it's quite far. Um, easily what we did again, and more portaging. So uh, there's that, or we could wild camp and not have a fire, or just use a little stick stove or something. Um, so we're gonna have a look at the map and have a little think about it and have a spot of lunch first. Some jerky. Mm. Thank you very much. Oh, that's nice. Chili. Sweet hot beef. Mm. Polar bread, squeezy cheese, and jerky. Nice quick lunch so we can get moving on.
Well, back on the water. <laughs> we was going to have a paddle anyway, but now we've got to look for a uh, camp spot and no campfire. So I can't get any more things wet because I can't dry them out. The days are fine. It's like 15 degrees or so, which is a bit of a change coming over from 30 something. But um, yeah, the nights are a bit chilly, about five degrees at the moment. It's just like the end of summer here. And there'll be getting snow next month. We paddled for about two hours or so looking for a, a nice spot, but uh, couldn't really find one and we settled on this, which has previously been used as a campsite. There's an old fire pit and stuff, but it's just a little peninsula. And uh, yeah, I've decided on this spot. It's very calm, may regret it, but uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna put it here, right down on the foreshore. It's a lovely little spot, lovely view, nice to wake up to. As I said in a previous video when I was trying this kit out, I'm using the Amok hammock system for this whole trip. So that's the mat, which is the winter one, um, the hammock itself and the tarp as well.
Well, there it is, all set up. I was worried for a minute it wasn't going to be wide enough, but um, an hammock isn't as wide as a hammock, so not too bad. Uh, pegging out points are a little soft, so we'll see. As long as the weather stays like this, we'll be fine. Before seeing that the weather had cooled down a lot here, I was just bringing this down quilt, but um, I decided to bring a, a very lightweight sleeping bag as well. So we should be good. Right, I've just copied Simon, he's using these um, paddles just to hoist up his tarp, so I thought I'd do that in the middle, just because the feet were touching it a bit on this end. Um, I did want to keep it closed down in case there was wind, but yeah, that should be alright now. The bugs are starting to come out, we knew that from last night, there was a load of them when we camped where we started, so I'm using MIGA. <laughs> I've got some Nordic Summer with me and some Jungle Formula as well, but this has been recommended, so... out of my waterproof sealskin socks and my um, water shoes into some nice fancy croc style things and real socks but uh, yeah I'm not too impressed with these so far look at that for a start the other one's disappeared in there they keep coming off at the back that off of my heel Simon's got his honey stove, I've brought my bush box and because we can't have a fire we're just going to use both of these for uh, our trenchiers. That's pan number one on, got some Kent potatoes <laughs> to go with um, a couple of steaks which I do on the bush box next to it when they're starting to soften up a bit and brown up. So hungry. <laughs> hungry. <laughs> hungry. Yeah. Maybe I should have parboiled them. It'll take a bit. It'll take a bit longer, but well, it's all well, in. I don't know. I think it might even be quicker. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. We got our steaks because they're fresh, so we have to get them eaten. Steaks are just getting warmed through a bit before we cook them. Potatoes are almost there, and the steaks won't take long at all. Steak time. <laughs> Get up! <laughs> Give them some salt. Steak seasoning to go on mine. Should we that one in yours, Andy? Nah, salt's okay. Carbon nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Some ketchup, I lubricate them. Oh yeah. Uh, 
Squid test. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Gotta be ketchup. Some native ketchup. <laughs> Oh. oh no! <laughs> That's not ketchup. Well, I could have mustard. some mustard on the steak. It's That's mustard. fine. <laughs> I was tricked. <laughs> okay, I got tricked by Simon. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, overspurt. Oh, it's been a long time coming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. We should have a, a beverage. Good idea. I'm a little more medium than medium rare, but... <laughs> Got a Velstand Norwegian IPA. Mm. Let's put them in here. Shaken up a little bit. Cheers, big ears. Cheers. Very nice. Oh, that is nice. Ah, mm. oh, right, steak. steak. <laughs> oh, it's really hot. <laughs> oh. mm. Don't go anymore. Mm. It's okay. Feels a hole. We needed it. Mm. Mm. It's not as good as last night. We had. Um, Reindeer, mm. um, wild mushrooms, and mashed potatoes, uh, mashed potatoes and lingonberry jam oh, made good. by our host, um, Peter, who lent us the canoes and a few other bits of kit and drove us from the airport. Mm. And will be picking us up on the other end in Norway as well. Very kind of him. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> yeah, thank you. But anyway, that was a good meal. <laughs> That's what we needed after that long day. Absolutely. Uh, assembling the canoes. Perfect reflection. Like mine. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs a campfire? <laughs> well, exactly. Yeah. Well, you have this. Right, we're off to bed now, so I'm just going to get in the hammock. I'm not going to film that because I'm not the best at doing it. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. So serious. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning to you. Did we sleep well? Uh, I slept pretty well. I um, got a bit cold in the early hours of the morning. Had to 
wriggle, wriggle down into my sleeping bag. Yeah, it was a bit chilly. Bit of a cold nose. <laughs> but no, slept, slept pretty well, pretty well. Woke up to this yeah. fine morning and fine view. Beautiful. No sizzle. Ah, uh, it'll sizzle in good time. <laughs> it'll sizzle when it's ready. <laughs> Another two there. Seven. Seven rashes. What crazy country gives you seven rashes? <laughs> Oh, it smells good. There it goes. I'm really hungry, actually. Yeah. Well, you were hungry last night still. Yeah. We never did have pudding, did we? No. That might have been broken in the shell. Yeah. Oh, well, that one definitely was. <laughs> We've made bacon and egg sarnies out of these polar breads that they have here that we've both missed quite a lot from the last trip. They're so kind of light and sweet. And yes, there's ketchup in there. Oh, definitely need this. Oh, that's greasy. <laughs>
that's us all packed up and on the move took a little bit of time I actually had to get Simon to give me a hand uh, last night in how to get in an amok I'd completely forgotten I was doing something wrong but I've got it down to a T now <laughs> right so we're making it gonna try and make way to another shelter that's a little ways away a um, couple of miles a few portages so we better get a move on You could not ask for fairer weather for a paddle. It's just so calm. And sunny. Got some new sunglasses. <laughs> Beautiful these small, I say small, they're quite big for England, <laughs> lakes, yeah lovely, but I think we got four portages today from lake to lake, which isn't too bad I guess. There's a chance we might skip lunch I guess. We had quite a big breakfast. Let's see how we get on. Perfect paddling conditions. Dead end. Up there near where them rocks are. And we missed it. Yeah. Reverse. <laughs> yeah, that's it up there, mate. We've gone down there. I'll show you that. camped here last night we've come around here and I think we've just come down here oh I see yeah uh, and we yeah, should have gone than there, there into that one and then there into that one and then we've got to go from that one we've got to go up and then cross over into that one so we've got to go up and left really haven't we I guess it's not open then. Hey? I guess it's not open the way. It's No, no, no. No, this is the first of the portages. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, so it looks it's hard to tell on some, isn't it? Yeah, I think where if they come together like that, they are like this. Go tracker. Huh? Go tracker. <laughs> it's very warm today. This is the longest portage yet. Not quite as steep as the other long one we did, but it's a fair ways. But it skips out a little lake, which isn't worth paddling. Almost a pond. Around to the next big one. Yeah. Canoes, bags, food, barrel, done.
this is the small lake we're skipping and we're carrying on up on this path to the next lake Lunch. I'm starving actually. Yeah. We've got some of that um, mousse, mousse, uh, mousse sausage here. Some powder bread. Oh yes. And some cheese. Ooh. And orange juice. Uh. Got some moose sausage here, um, like a preserved sausage, which we had uh, the other evening with with Peter when he dropped us off at uh, our starting point. Oh no, we've got odd number here. Have to be <laughs> two and a half. And as we discovered, they've got quite a tough skin on them, so I'm going to give them a little slice like this because it makes it easier to peel them. And they're really, really tasty. Got my orange from this morning that I didn't drink as I was drinking tea and we've got basically the same lunch as yesterday try and preserve some of our alcohol. So we've got unknown meat cheese <laughs> <laughs> and known meat which is moose. Moose sausage sir. Ooh, is that the big one? <laughs> big moose. <laughs> And then we're going to get back on the go. A little bit of a paddle this time. I think we should be on water, water mm. for, for yeah for a bit longer now, which is which is good. Because that was a big portage. It was. <laughs> My feet are killing me. I think it's just because these shoes are so soft and you've mm. your feet flex all over the rocks. Well, it's surprisingly okay considering these aren't great. <laughs> Link the half a sausage. Is this the last of it? Mm. It's the last. Mm. It's a tiny bit left. But we have chocolate spread, don't forget. Oh yeah, I don't know if that goes with sausage and stuff. That's lunch all done. Now for probably the longest paddle of the day, to be honest, before hopefully a, one more quick portage to camp. Well, some of these little lakes are just beautiful. Just so still. We got like no wind at the moment. The only thing affecting the boat is me. We've just come out onto one of the bigger lakes we've been on. So we've just got to do the span of that. And then we've got a little bit of portage to the shelter. 
fingers crossed we can have it to ourselves not out of greed just because of filming but yeah this kind of surrounded by hills mountains a bit of both beautiful I'm gonna keep saying that beautiful <laughs> coming into a boat graveyard. Well done, my hero. Oh. Very shallow with the rocks in here, so kind of going over them a little bit, trying to avoid them. We're just trying to find the point we hit land to get to the shelter. It's in here somewhere. And then we've got probably a horrible portage. <laughs> but there's no rush. Thank you to Simon for lining both <laughs> boats down. That was a bit tight, <laughs> but a bit shallow. <laughs> Seeing as you've done the first one, it only made sense for you to do the second one. You knew the route. It was better without the bags in it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it was a bit quicker. <laughs> We're here. Going to go and have a recce of the, the trail. Yep. As luck would have it, there is someone at the shelter, but uh, this is such a nice little bay on this little lake, and there is a fire pit here already, so we think we're going to be okay just using our twig stove, and just setting up here, and then making our way over to Norway in the morning after doing this portage across. So yeah, I think we're going to stay here for the night.
the hammock all set up. Surprisingly easy that hammock. Once you know what's what, everything has its place, everything winds up nicely, it's, it's really easy to put up. I wasn't sure if it would reach that span but did it easily, could have done a lot more. I've just folded back my tarp for now, um, just because it's so nice if I do sit in it as a hammock seat as well. But yeah, Simon's up over there somewhere, he's found a spot and uh, I guess we're going to have to find some twigs and stuff for our uh, wood stoves. There's a bug on my lens. It's a nice looking spot but uh, we have accepted the fact it's going to be quite insecty. This is quite shallow water down here and the ground I'm on is quite marshy. My chair actually sunk into it. But um, it's a nice spot. We've got plenty of uh, varieties of bug repellent as well. Nordic summer, jungle, that um, Norwegian one don't even know the name of now, Migo or whatever it was. I think we're going to be okay. Up here over the rocks, up on higher ground is Simon's setup. And his waterproof socks. Yeah, <laughs> they need a drying. <laughs> As you can see he's using his war bonnet top with his hammock, just for a little extra coverage. Yeah, got a view down there of the lake. And I'm over there somewhere. Just had the first disaster of the trip. I realised my jacket is at the first camp. Now that's miles away. Loads of portages, um, that, that rapids or whatever you want to call it, the rocks. There's no way I'm going to get it and completing this kind of um, trip. So luckily I've got this, which is like a down jacket for the evenings, but um, I don't have a waterproof. So far so good. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what happened, it's obviously olive green, I probably put it on the floor and it blended in when I was packing and completely missed it, kind of was rushing a little bit to get going. <sighs> well, that's the first thing, hopefully the only thing, and hopefully this does the job. The floor here, everywhere we've been, has been completely covered in blueberries. So we're going to make use of them tomorrow with our pancakes. Mm. So nice. I think Simon's gone to try his hand at fishing around the corner there. So I'm going to potter around, might collect some wood for the uh, stoves, charge some batteries. <laughs> I'm going to go and try and catch a fishy. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, it ain't going to happen. But I'm going to um, going to have a go. Good luck.
Let me guess. It was this big when it got away. I caught some twigs for the <laughs> twig stove. <laughs> I think that should be enough for three <laughs> stoves, don't you? I reckon. Pepper and onion for our pasta dish. Let's get that out. No, that didn't work. <laughs> Star of the show here, and a chorizo. 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 <laughs> what is it? See if this is one with the nice skin that can come off. Found, um, well Andy found a nice dead standing birch over there with a load of bark on it so we thought we'd have a, a birch bark off. <laughs> we have actually bought uh, fire lighters and stuff with us but, and this is quite damp this stuff but it is a bit damp, it's a bit damp isn't it? Or might, might, might work. Uh, I'm being first. impatient. <laughs> Hang on, wait for me. Oh, we have to get the same time. Yeah. If it was like a race. No, it's well, well I'm gonna do more prep then. Uh, it might have been uh, I think that was a draw. Even Stevens there. <laughs> <laughs> right, we've got the oil on for Andy's chorizo and onion Beige. delight, and um, got some water on for pasta. And I know there's going to be people complaining about putting the pasta in cold water. The diehards amongst you, but it's different when you're camping, exactly, and it still works. So na 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 na. I don't want to waste fuel. <laughs> Ooh, look at the colours.
Yeah, give it a mix. Looks like we're always in here, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. And you look spectacular. Do the job, wouldn't it? Yeah. We can go back for seconds. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, sir. Oh, thank you. Big wave. Oh, I love this beer. You've had it before? Yeah. Who's this by? Uh, Kona. Kona Brewing Company. Are they? I really like this. That's cool. <laughs> Are they Swedish? I don't know. Don't know. <sighs> Glasses on. No, American. Oh, of course, they're Hawaii, Kona, yeah. Cheers. Chin chin. Oh, mmm, it's good. It's nice, fruity. How does it go with this? Beer goes with anything well. We've got double spice going on here, arabiata sauce and chorizo. Mm. And all them oils. Mm. 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 So hungry. Warmer at this time than it was yesterday as well, isn't it? Yeah. I was worried it was just going to go because the clear skies. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not too bad. <laughs> 